Hi, we're Radu and Aline and you're watching 3 to 1 Sport Runner to Runner Shoe Review Two runners, same shoe, more opinions and probably the last Adidas Energy Boost review on earth Very short specifications about this shoe The upper part is covered in the tech fit You'll see over here the technology which offers hug sensation on the foot Of course the Boost technology over here and the outsole it's uh, Adiwear technology. Adidas Energy Boost has integrated the torsion system over here, which is also integrated in so many Adidas models, and you will find it very useful for the mid part of the shoe. Okay, Aline, time to discuss our uh, personal opinions about this shoe. I've been using this one uh, for one year and a half, uh, and I ran approximately 400 kilometers. What's your mileage with them and how much time did you use them? I have them since 2014. I uh, ran almost 500 kilometers with them. Uh, I ran my first uh, half marathon with them because I used them in my training for, uh, for my first half marathon. And after I bought the Ultra Boost, I uh, used to alternate them uh, in my trainings. I got this shoe when I started losing weight and I became like a normal weight runner uh, and this shoe it's the first one that I felt that offered me speed while running this is a neutral shoe uh, designed for people that train long but also who want to train with a little bit of higher speed um, discussing about the outsole the tech fit outsole my impressions with the tech fit outsole is that it hugs the fit uh, but it hugs it properly compared to the ultra boost which from my point of view it's pretty difficult to use when you're making a u-turn or changing sudden the direction that's but because you're fat thank you <laughs> <laughs> no he's a uh, i didn't have that problem because i'm a more lightweight than radu <laughs> You need to lose more weight, dear Radu, and you won't have these problems. Yes, I, I will have to have 40 kilos and I will never have this problem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what I wanted to say is that the Prime Knit in the Ultra Boost uh, hugs the feet also, but the Tech Fit over here hugs it more properly and I feel that the foot is more secure in the shoe and I can change direction, I can go up on a hill with no problem and still feel that the foot is perfectly safe in uh, in the shoe. The also the the boost foam uh, outsole, uh, I found it amazing. I mean, that was my first contact with the the boost technology. Afterwards, I tried the uh, Adidas Boston Boost Five and the Ultra Boost, which we both had. And my oh my, this is amazing. Okay, Aline, how did you feel the upper part and the boost technology of the Adidas Energy Boost? Well, this was my first contact with the boost technology and uh, I, uh, I admit I was really impressed by the energy you, you received. Did you do Berlin Marathon with this one? No, I did uh, the Ultra, Ultra Boost. boost yes. okay, okay. But I did uh, the training for the marathon. Training right? for the marathon and uh, okay. a lot of half marathons with this shoe, okay. including the last one in Bucharest. My best run with this shoe was on uh, Transfagurishan, one of the best uh, roads in the world for running, for uh, driving and for biking. You should check it out when you come in Romania. It's not that we said it, the guys from, from, Top, uh, Gear from Top Gear said it, not Top Gear anymore, but still they said it's one of the best roads in the world and you should definitely go for a run over there. Aline, uh, I, ha I had this problem with the Ultra Boost after 300 to 400 kilometers. The uh, rubber over here was almost worn out and I didn't feel that stability that you need on the ground while running and especially I felt unsafe uh, on uh, slippery conditions running uh, on uh, on water for example as you can see it's not worn out yet and uh, it's really good because uh, the rubber feels really strong Okay, let I, I'll, I'll admit, I'm a big fan of shoes that you can use for 500, 600, 800 kilometers and if you wash them, they look as new. 
and N not really look uh, my uh, these uh, yeah but this is minor I mean, this is, yeah <laughs> this is a minor issue but um, the outsole it's very good it's in a very good situation uh, it looks uh, almost sharp from heel to toe and we were happy to see that after 400 500 kilometers the Adidas energy boost is uh, in a very good state uh, this means that the price overall for, for this shoe because you have to calculate it somehow I, I always think like this if you pay 100 uh, euros for one pair of shoes and you go for uh, 300 kilometers with them it means that you'll pay around 33 cents for each kilometer you ran and you'll always have to look for the best balance between price and uh, durability and this is a shoe that it's pretty high priced uh, Probably when it was launched, it was around 150 euros. Oh, yeah, something like that. Okay. Something like that. Yeah, now you around can... 200 in Romania, I think. 200 euros in Romania. Okay. Uh, and uh, I, I think that you should try to run with this shoe at least 600 to 800 kilometers in order to consider it a best buy. My recommendation would be if if you usually run uh, long runs uh, every day you should uh, let them uh, rest for a day i mean if you do a long run today maybe the next day you should use another shoe to let the foam to come back to its natural form because uh, if you use it too intense you might lose the properties of this foam and uh, you won't feel the same energy coming back to you too many good things might cause problems so we might as well talk as the bad things that happened with this shoe uh, from my point of view, I've had some major issues with this uh, plastic part which perforated somehow the, the tech fit outsole and my feet was bleeding over here uh, and I had to rest the shoe and put, put it on hold for several months uh, before the wound completely disappeared and I wouldn't have this problem anymore. So what I would recommend is to trust more the tech fit and don't uh, use the laces to tighten the shoe too much on your feet. Well, I didn't have any problems with this shoe. Maybe in my first kilometers I felt a bit of pressure from okay. the sides. So you'll have to try it on before buying it. What I also loved about this shoe and I didn't tell you before is this rubber part which secures the tech fit um, somehow very nice compared to the Ultra Boost which has something that is not that strong over here and doesn't offer that perfect stability that I'm looking for when I start running. Let's uh, step to the conclusions. Is it worth it to buy this shoe now after three years after he was launched? My answer is yes, definitely, because now it's cheaper and you have a great technology that uh, it's still actual and it's still uh, uh, good for your feet and uh, <clears throat> it's a great price now and I would buy it again. So what Aline tries to say is that if you are looking for the cheaper version you should go for the first or the second version. The third version is still quite expensive because it's the, the newest one and still available in store. Uh, you'll find in the outlet shops uh, a lower version, a lower price for this version or for that version. I would uh, sincerely recommend this shoe for runners that uh, are training constantly that are doing at least 200 kilometers each month and runners that would like to improve their speed and pace because this is a shoe that somehow gives you the wings that you need to put that a little bit of pressure on your pace and uh, go um, go a little bit faster and this is very it nice it gives about you shoe. energy boost it gives you energy boost <laughs> yes just like the name Aline and Radu we broadcasted from Romania. This is Tinaretului Park. We hope you love the scenery uh, and we'll send you the best wishes from runners to other runners. Bye! So we met this guy while filming the review in the park. He's a blader, a roller blader, and he helped us to film this amazing images that you saw before uh, and he's very nice and thank you, thank you so much yeah, you're welcome <laughs>